Uh, today I'm accompanied by my two pups and they'll probably be running around seeing you guys. But we have a quick overview of the hydraulic series by Axe and Sledge, which is owned by Seth Roshi and his partners, which is awesome because Seth Roshi is an amazing guy. I've met him here in Pittsburgh. He's a real down to earth. He's funny. He's a real man's man. And you know what? I support him and I support his products. I really love them all. So with the further ado, we're going to go with the hydraulic series. Like I said, this is Scorpion Demon. Uh, this is their mixed berry uh, flavor. Flavor rating, I give it a 7 out of 10. I wasn't um, amazed, but I wasn't, I didn't like, I wouldn't say I didn't like it, but I didn't dislike it. It was just kind of like, eh, it was all right. I thought it was an okay flavor, you know, not necessarily my cup of tea. Um, but I liked the product so much that I ended up getting a different flavor of it, which was the Shark Bite. And this is Orange Mango, which are, there's another review on it, that I gave a higher score. Um, but I give this like a 6-7 on the flavor chart. Uh, if you guys have not seen the other video, we'll go real quick into it. This is an all-pump formula-based pre-workout. Uh, there's no stims in it, so you don't have to worry about that if you don't want any stims. What's great about uh, Axe and Sledge is that they use all pan ingredients for the, for the major ingredients in their products. Um, there's two different ways you can dose it. You can do one scoop, and it lasts you about 40, 40 servings. Uh, you can do two scoops, and that's about 20 servings. Uh, if we look over at the label, we can see that there is a lot of different pan ingredients. So first we have Agamax, we have creatine, Magna Power, Glycer Pump, Nitrosogene, and Carnison, which are all major ingredients and keys in the ingredient profile of this product. Um, personally, I loved it so much. I give the overall product itself an 8 out of 10. Um, awesome pumps, uh, real fast, which is really nice. The only downside, I give it an 8 out of 10. And besides the flavor profile, for this one at least, this flavor, is that it's kind of chalky, which is expected when you have a pump formula. Um, it's just a little bit chalky. It's like everything else. Um, you know, it's not a perfect world. So way better than some of the other pre-workouts I've had or pump formulas of I've, I've had, as you could have seen in my previous videos. Um, so easy score. I give it a 7 out of 10 overall um, just because I love the product itself. Uh, flavor wasn't completely sold on it, but I did find a different flavor that I really do like. So that's why it's 7 out of 10. Don't forget to give us a like, a comment. If you saw the puppies in the background, leave a comment for them. Leave a like for them. Give likes, give comments. And I hope you fall down the rabbit hole and watch all the videos. And if you could, give us a follow on Instagram at zerps underscore barbell. And that's it for today, guys. See you later.